as Florida Governor Ron DeSantis abandons his state while he nurses his presidential ambitions. Hundreds of drag queens and allies marched on the Florida State Capitol in Tallahassee today, protesting state Republicans' continued assault on the LGBTQ community. The march comes a week after the Republican-led state legislature passed a bill banning children from attending drag shows to placate DeSantis. It was one of three bills targeting LGBTQ Floridians to pass the Florida House in just one day last week. DeSantis is expected to sign it, but it's unclear when, since he continues traveling the world, trying to shore up his flailing presidential campaign. He's been on the road nearly nonstop in the nearly two weeks since historic rainfall flooded Fort Lauderdale. He has yet to visit Broward County. But while he was on the road in Utah last weekend, he pledged to ask the Biden administration for a disaster de declaration for the county. Again, while Ron DeSantis does not have time to fly from Tallahassee to Fort Lauderdale, he does have time to jet, off to, to jet off to Japan, one of several stops on an international trip. Joining me now is Florida State Senator Chevron Jones, who spoke at today's protest at the state capitol in Tallahassee. And I'll note that uh, uh, he claims he's not even a candidate uh, while he's out there jetting around on the Florida taxpayer dime. So that's a lot of fun. Let me play for you just a little bit of what Darcel Stevens, who's an Orlando drag queen, had to say at this rally today. Take a listen. They hear us. They see us. They have phones just like you. They know we represent so many others. And if they are scared right now, you damn right they should be scared. Senator Shev, you, you spoke at that uh, event as well, and your message was really powerful, too. Uh, is Florida awake? You said Florida's woke. Is, has Florida been suddenly awakened to the dangers of DeSantis? Absolutely, Joy. Good to see you. But absolutely, Florida is is wide awake. I think uh, whether it's the LGBTQ issues, immigration issues, or the uh, the attack on African American studies, all of this is just boiled up to uh, a a mass of people who are ready to push back against Governor DeSantis and the Republicans and their extremism and what's happening in Florida. I mean, we are constantly, Joy, seeing the bills that are coming across uh, in committee. We're currently now still in committee, sitting in a uh, uh, for the last seven, eight hours, doing what? We, we're not talking about Fort Lauderdale. We're not talking about dealing with the uh, the over 60% in rate hikes that's about to happen insurance. You, you know what we're doing? We're trying to, we're continually making people's lives more difficult. We're not putting money back in Floridians' pockets. We're making people's life more difficult. And it's unfortunate that we are here in this place right now in the state of Florida, all because the governor wants to run for, uh, for president. But mind you, he's in Japan. He flew 19 hours to Japan, but wouldn't, wouldn't fly an hour and 15 minutes to Fort Lauderdale. Doesn't sound like he cares much about Fort Lauderdale. Um, he signed this six-week abortion ban in the dead of night. He did release a picture on Twitter, surrounded by a lot of women. Uh, but it seems to me that there are women voters, there are LGBTQ voters. I bet you there are even some trans Republicans. H has, has this attack on everybody, it seems, started to change minds about his, I don't know, attractiveness as a presidential candidate beyond just being governor? In the well, you know what? Oops, sorry, Joy, but you you know what? Yes, I think what we're seeing now is this, as this as Governor DeSantis uh, approached this failed attempt to to run for president. Uh, I think you're seeing the pushback from, from, of course, you're seeing it for Democrats, but you see it from Republicans. Why? Because people see that this extremism is not helping anyone, and it sure is not going to help um, uh, um, Americans. They don't want someone who is going after Disney. They don't want anyone who is anti-business. They don't want anyone who is anti-democracy. Uh, anti-freedom. They rejected that before. They rejected um, uh, Donald Trump. You think they want this again? People don't want this. People want us to get back to governing. People want us to get back to figuring out the best way to ensure that they can live healthy, free lives. They're not looking at you banning books and all these other things that's happening right now. Have, your, have any of our Republican colleagues expressed any reticence about passing so many anti-gay, anti-black, anti-women bills and there being repercussions for them? Or are they just so confident they've gerrymandered themselves into power that they don't care? You know what the unfortunate part is? Behind the scenes, many of the Republicans are extremely uh, frustrated of, of what's happening. Um, and I, I wish many of them would, would, would really take a chapter out of our profiles and courage and really just stand up to what we're seeing right now. But that's not the case because they fear the retaliation because the governor's office has made it clear. If you go against me, I'm going to primary you. Or if you go against me, I'm going to go against you. And that's not just the way you govern. I mean, again, I'll keep saying it. That's authoritarian 
authoritarianism. Yeah. I mean, that's not a democracy. It's if Proud Boys was government, and that's not the way it's supposed to work. Our State Senator Chevron Jones, we always appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Always good to see you. Thank you, sir.